The main window you'll see in the recipe manager is the recipe browser which we can see here. Now on the left hand side you'll see a list of all the recipes in the cookbooks that you currently have open. You can click on these to move through the list or you can go up and down with the arrow key. On the right hand side here you'll see a number of tabs that contain the information of your recipe. The first one, the recipe tab, has the recipe name, source, any website it came from, etc. You've got the ingredients list here that you can add ingredients to, remove them from, reorder the ingredients, and any nutritional information for the recipe that you've either added or has come from the recipe when you've downloaded it. Photo field down here that you can store one or multiple pictures on. Instructions field, serves and time field, any classifications, rating, seasonality and difficulty field. Back on the recipe browser here then, this button here will show any meals that you've created. This button here will show the current cookbook which is highlighted and any other cookbooks you have open. You can also look through the cookbook library this way and scroll up and down this list. Let's exit the cookbook library. This button will take you to the recipe browser. This button to the advanced search window where you can create some very powerful searches. This button to create some meals and then this button will take you to a calendar to schedule some meals. Now on the recipe browser you can also stretch if you want to make it longer. You want to move these columns around so you can have a look at the source. You can reorder the columns here and you can also resize the window up and down and slide it up and down here as well.